I hear the care instructions for the Roomba that I call White 2. Um, I, I'm not sure what type of Roomba this is. Uh, for some reason, that's hard to find out. But um, this one is the one that currently has a battery that is is a good battery. I think it's three years old, but it was actually kept plugged in over that time. So the battery never went fully dead. This one actually has an extra battery because it's the same kind as the one broken Roomba. And so the new battery that I got for the broken Roomba, I'm sending with this one. So um, on the top of the Roomba, you've got the buttons for power and clean is the same button. Um, spot for spot clean, which kind of goes in circles and dock which makes it actually go to its dock. This one, um, I'm not sure if this is the right dock port, but it definitely finds this dock and it fits there. So I'm setting this one with it. Um, you probably won't ever use the PS2 port um, on the front. It's like the connector they used to use for mice back before USB was a thing. Um, but if you ever want it, there's ways to connect to its circuitry and get information about it. Um, Always clean the Roomba over the garbage can. Like you can take out the little trap um, when you're not over the garbage can because most, of, unless it's really full, the dirt should just stay inside. So normally this is gonna be all full of dirt. So you just dump that in the garbage can and then you're gonna take out this little um, hinged fine particle filter and tap it a little, get most of the fine particles into the garbage. But yeah, definitely do that only over the garbage can when you're done cleaning that out. And I cleaned mine out about once a week. Um, I guess it depends on how often you run it and how much dirt there is. You just slide it back in and it clicks into place. Um, I would normally use this by just pressing the clean button and then not being in the room for an hour and a half because it, Roombas are noisy. Um, and sometimes it finds its dock when it's done, and sometimes it just dies somewhere, like in the pantry. Um, one thing that you can do when you're using it is set up these virtual walls. They have a little, um, probably an infrared sensor, or emitter and sensor. No, just the emitter here. This guy's the sensor. Um, and so you gotta turn them on. You'll see that the light on the top turns on. You can probably see the uh, I don't know if it's infrared or, or something coming out of the, the front of it and you set them facing each other and the Roomba can't get close to about more than about a foot away. Um, there's a, a distance dial here that I think the top notch is for if they're about three feet away and then the middle notch is for about four to seven feet away and then eight feet and more is the bottom notch and I'm I haven't tested that. So turn them off when, you're, when you don't need them on. Um, they take two D cell batteries. So don't wanna probably leave those on all the time. Um, there's also this sensor. This is the only Roomba that seemed to pay attention to this sensor at all. This is one, it's got a little diagram underneath. Um, you set it next to like a doorway, like next to a wall, and it is going to shine its light across the doorway and the Roomba can't enter that room. So try it out. There's an off and auto button. So I guess you probably point the little arrow, press auto, you probably see it on the camera. Anyway, I've never actually used these. Um, I've, I never wanted to figure out how to set them up. Um, so if you do want to change the filter, the little fine particle filter I have three extra fine particle filters and that I'm sending with this. And there's a little twirly brush underneath um, that's held on by a single screw. Try not to lose the screw. I think I have two extra screws if you do need it. And for some reason, this was the only Roomba that took this kind of brush, I think. So I'm sending all of the extras. So there's like little six-sided brushes and a couple of three-sided brushes. They all fit on here. I think, I could be totally wrong. Mm. Well, you'll figure it out. Um, a little less often, if you need to, just, you can 
clean the brushes underneath by opening the little trap door with these two yellow tabs. The little trap door will hinge open and you can pull out both of these brushes. You'll see there's a yellow end that you can just pull straight out and then the other end is a little square. Oh, and that is covered in gunk. I'll try and clean that off before you get this. Sorry about that. Um, and we have a little thing that's kind of like a seam ripper or an envelope opener here for cutting off hair and string and things that get caught in it. Always do this over garbage can. I'm making a mess right now. Um, I actually use a seam ripper from a fabric store for this end part because it's so um, tiny. It's a lot easier to get in with, with a pointy seam ripper. So I guess I haven't done that on this one. I'll try to remember to before I send it to you. Little yellow cap does fall off. Don't lose that. Uh, when you put it back in, there's a square end, and it goes in a little square hole, and then the yellow end lays flat. The other brush is pretty similar. Again, there's a little thing you can lose on this side, um, but you kind of want to take it off to get the hair and string off of it. There's a little brush cleaning tool that I've never used before. Can I do that on this one? Oh, yeah. Hmm. I don't know if you can take this part off. So maybe this brush cleaning tool isn't as useful for this one. Put it on backwards. You'll figure it out. There's a little little brushy thing on this side. Help brush jump and jump out. And we have the rest of this Roomba, Roomba cleaning tool also has a brush here. I'm not sure what the little holes are for. I'm not sure. Hmm. Anyway, once you're done cleaning it. Put the little square end in the square hole. I think there used to be a little piece of a little something here that was that was flat, but I'm not sure. It seems to work just fine, so maybe I'm mistaken. Hmm. I'm not really familiar with this one. Okay. So what I normally do is I just um Press the clean button, let it go. I'm, I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna test its dock. See if it can find its dock. Look at that. Good job, white too. All right. Um, I hope you enjoy it. You'll figure it out. Um, there are a lot of things that it might suck up that you don't want it to. Um, so you'll you'll figure out how to keep the floors picked up enough that so the Roomba can do the rest of the work. Um, just try and keep it clean, check it every now and then. If you have any issues, then let me know and I'll see what I can do to help. I hope you enjoy it.